Hi everyone, so today I'm here to show you a little DIY how to make your own collar necklace. Now, for those who don't know what a collar necklace is, it's just one of these um, metal thing that um, is either, will have a little pendant, this one is has a pearl, but you know, there's all types of collar necklace. Um, usually they are just like a piece of metal and they're very simplistic um, in a way. So. I want to show you how to make this today. Now, if you go to Joanne's or Michael's, you can probably find like already made one that you can maybe kind of accessorize or add more stones to it or something to that effect. But um, I find that this way is a lot uh, much more um, easier and it is a lot cheaper and it's only using about um, three, you know, two different products. So what you're going to need and this is, you can find this at any craft store. This is just um, gauge wire, and this is uh, 7.3 millimeter, I think. Yeah, it's just any gauge wire um, that you can find at those craft store. And they're quite flexible and bendable too, so you can definitely do more than just um, a collar necklace with it. And then you're gonna need um, either pearl. Now this one I'm using pearl. Um, it's quite a, a big pearl. Um, this one is just from an old Forever 21 necklace that I never used, so it kind of fell apart and I just decided to reuse the pearl. But I still have some more, and it's just, you know, little fake pearl. Or you can um, get some of these um, sort of rhinestone and you can probably find this again at like Joann's or um, Michael or something um, along that line. Hancock's is another fabric place that will carry that. So I even have this color too. Um, I have a, a black one as well. That's really cute. So I think I'm going to use, I might use this one. We'll see. All right, so what you're going to need, you're going to measure um, around your neck. My neck um, is around 14 to 15 inches all around. And you want a little, a little bit of space. You don't want it too tight on your neck. So, so kind of just put it around your neck and kind of measure. I think this is good. And then you also need, I forgot to mention, sorry, a wire cutter. Um, and then also a needle nose plier to kind of shape the hook at the end so that way the necklace will stay on your neck. Um, let me move you to here so you can see what I'm doing. Sorry. Um, this is a lot closer. Okay, so I got my wire and I'm, I think I know where I'm going to cut it. Maybe around here. So it's going to look like this. Just, you know, circle. And go ahead and take one of your um, stone. You can either do this, like I said, or you could do the, the um, pearl. So I'm just going to do this. And it has a hole in there already that you can kind of just hook. So, you know, very convenient. So you're just going to hook it through the hole on the top. And so it will look something like this. So, okay. And now here comes sort of the tricky part. So you want to make a little loop on one end and then a little hook on the other end so that way you can kind of hook it, take it off whenever you want and make sure that it stays. So I, what I do is I take the needle nose plier to the end of the uh, metal and I'm gonna make sure that you can see what I'm doing. And you're just gonna make, you're just gonna bend it and make it into a little hook. Um, sorry if you can't see. So, kind of just twist it into a little hook if you know what I'm talking about. So, make sure it's fairly close at the end so you see. So it just should just look like this, like a little loop. And then the other side, the opposite end, you want to make a hook to kind of hook on to, to this thing like this, like so. So you want to make a hook that will kind of do this. All right, so again with this, you're gonna do, take your needle nose plier 
and just make a hook. Don't close it all the way because this is this is where you're gonna hook your, your necklace to make sure that it stays. So, oops. I hope you can see. So it should just look like this and it should not close. There you go. And then all you need to do is hook it to the the loop so like this I'm just gonna hook it to the loop oopsie and then there you go I hope you can see that so yep And there you go, that's your collar necklace. It's so simple, so easy, um, but you know, anyone can, can do it. So let me take this one off and then I'll put on this one and show you how easy it is to kind of hook on and off. But this one's a little bit tricky because I almost made it into a little hole a loop there you go this is your collar necklace right here very simple right I think the next one I'm gonna try to do um, maybe hoop necklace or um, like a teardrop type of necklace for you because these wires are so fun to play with and like I said they're flexible and you can pretty, ma pretty much manipulate them and make them into whatever you'd like. Um, so I hope you like it. See you later.